guys, welcome to your reading. For those that do not know me, I am Tabitha, your psychic, medium, healer, and starseed. Okay, this is going to be about a month-long prediction for the zodiac sign Sagittarius. It is intended for May, but whenever it finds you is when it's meant for you. Uh, so before I get into it, just a quick reminder that if you'd like to book a reading with me, uh, please email me at TabithaHealingCenter at gmail.com. It will be in the description below. Um, all of the readings I do, the proceeds go towards the Tim Burling Foundation. So we just ask that you make a donation on your own accord. It's whatever you feel is right. It's whatever you can afford. Um, we do not turn away anyone for help. So... Like I said, if you guys would like to book a reading, please still contact me at Tap the Healing Center, uh, but uh, all the payments go to the Tim Burling Foundation. Okay, and last but not least, Malachite Moon Girl has just launched a new line of bath bombs. They're absolutely amazing. She has a Mother's Day special going on right now, so please find her on Instagram. That's at Malachite Moon Girl. These ones specifically are the Honey Almond. They smell so amazing. I already bought a batch. Um, so yeah, if you guys want healing products like healing bracelets, crystals, um, charms, um, food wraps, bath bombs, so all that, check out at Malachite Moon Girl. And if you do not follow me on Instagram, follow me at Tabby M. Co. or Tabitha Indigo Child. Okay, let's get into it. So Sag, for you guys... Uh, you had Amber coming through, also known as Copal Amber. So this is a beautiful piece of healing. Um, they consider it a crystal, but it's actually from a tree. Uh, so it holds a lot of, it's like fossilized resin. So it holds a lot of like healing properties. Um, this is going to recharge your good vibes. Anyone that is like really into trees or is a tree people, old soul, anyone gearing up for a long cold winter, this is a great like crystal to use. It's going to help uh, bring some warmth into your life. Uh, they're saying anyone that needs sun would also benefit from this. So it's to recharge your good vibes. And you guys got Archangel Uriel coming through to assist you guys this month. So this is the Archangel of intellect, understanding, epiphanies, uh, really helps with school, public speaking, conversations, ideas, insight, studying, um, enhances your speaking abilities or writing. So this is a really good Archangel to use this month. Also messages of God is coming through. Um, and your affirmation is, nothing is impossible for the heart. Love always finds a way. Okay, let's see what we got going on for you guys month, this month. Well, it seems like a lot of people want to help you guys. Um, at the beginning of the month, you have a lot of people, um, or you have like this, like someone wanting to help you. Uh, it could very possibly be um, an air sign, but you have air, you have air, earth and water all present in your reading as people as well. So you have someone here who is very logical, very analytical, very data oriented. Um, they're very methodical. They could possibly be an air sign, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this person, um, they don't put up a BS. Um, they like it's stimulating conversation I'm hearing. Uh, they're very knowledgeable. They hold a lot of power because they're very not knowledgeable. They may be into like science or tech or like something along those lines. Um, this person is also just like very powerful. Like they just like have this like power about them. Um, but for some reason, there's like a little bit of conflict in your love life. Maybe you have conflict with this type of person. Um, we do also have these like younger, like younger air and earth signs. So um, there does tell me that there is possibly going to be like two offers that come in for you. Um, the air, sorry, the earth sign is someone who is like very abundant. They have a lot of material wealth. Um, they've built up like quite an empire for themselves. I'm hearing, um, this person is like very nurturing, grounded, solid, stable. Um, this person, 
uh, they like the finer things in life. Um, this person likes to be in nature. I don't know if I said that. Um, this person could also just come from like wealth as well, like a long like line of lineage that's like wealthy. Um, but this person may have like really wounded you in the past, okay? Because I am picking up like this like wounded warrior aspect. Um, and this person does seem like they may be it from your past. So in your first week, um, you may get some like um, some communication or like some sort of message. I am feeling it comes from like this air sign or this like person who has like a lot of knowledge. It could be even like some knowledge that they like speak to you. Um, I feel like both these people are like in your love life though. They also have this earth energy. It's like they want to make you a something that's like solid and stable. Like they have something that's more like material worth for you. Um, so that's like kind of going down in your first week. You could also have something like come back from the past, whether this is like emotions or like a gift or, um, you know, a person. Um, so you're, so you're like kind of in your feels come the second week. Uh, we do have the, the king and queen of cups here. So we do have a court match and they literally are not facing each other. Um, so two people could really be in their emotions about something. Um, I am also hearing like, there's going to be like this like sudden change, okay? So these two people, like the masculine energy of this is, and it's interesting because this masculine energy is like facing this like wounded warrior that is looking at this like earth energy. So um, this person is like very empathic, very intuitive, um, they even like be psychic. They have like a lot of depths and layers to them. There's more than, than meets the eye. This person's extremely creative. This person also like has like love to give, okay? This person has like a really big like heart, like they're very loving. They would be very affectionate, very like poetic and dreamy. Um, and this like, this, um, other element is pretty similar to that, okay? Um, this person's also very, like, generous, like, um, very loving, very emotional, I'm hearing, though, okay? So these people are really, like, analyzing their feelings or really getting in touch with it. They may even, like, be, like, birthing creations out of it, like, because you did have, um, you did have, like, uh, this, this person that helps, like, or sorry, this angel that kind of, like, helps with, like, epiphanies and understanding as well. So I just feel like these people are just, like, really trying to, like, figure out, like, their emotions. So there is going to be this sudden, like, change, okay? Like, this unexpected, like, sudden um, change comes in, and this is in your second week of May. It's interesting because, like, it has to do with, like, illusions, like, not being able to, like, things hidden, like, kind of, like, being, like, revealed in a sense. Um, and they all, they're also telling you to, like, look past, like, illusions. They're actually very specifically telling you guys to look up towards the stars. So, um, we just have, like, um, there, you're gonna be, like, getting a lot of, like, intuition. Um, we do have Aquarius energy here as well. Um, so, yeah, so you guys have, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, you also have, uh, Scorpio, um, Cancer, Pisces. Um, so they're telling me that, like, uh, there's gonna be this, like, sudden change. It is from, like, the divine as well, um, to kind of, like, shake things up or, like, move things forward. They're talking about, like, crumbling like old systems um which is like right now we're going like we're in poor seasons so things are going to be a little bit slower paced but it's going to be fixated more on like your material wealth and like um doing things for yourself like treating yourself good like self-care and then we had pluto go retrograde on april 25th and for some this like really affected people like big time um especially like this retrograde so um pluto i believe it may be like transiting to like may 3rd um 
or something like that. But this, anyways, Pluto is about, like, transformation. It's about, um, it's all, like, a really, like, it's rule, like, it rules Scorpio. So it's got, like, this, like, power, obsession, um, kind of, like, control. Uh, but it's also got, like, um, like a, like, the stranger things, like, kind of, like, mystical, like, energy to it as well. Um, and it's about, like, transformation, and they are saying rebirth, like, it's like the death card, right, in tarot, so, um, that, that could be, like, helping to, like, close things out at the beginning of May for you. Um, so they are just telling you to, like, kind of, like, look past the illusions. Um, you do have the star here. I'm hearing, like, healing, faith, optimism, wished upon a star, um, so that's all going down kind of like in your second week. Uh, getting into the third week, you are like waiting on something. You're waiting on like a leader. You're waiting on power. You're waiting to like either step into an emperor role. So where you're leading um, and, and an emperor makes a good leader because they like know what's good for the whole. And like they've been through a lot of like trials and tribulations. Like so they really like understand like people and like what they need. And just, like, they're just a powerful leader, okay? I'm just hearing this person's a very powerful leader, like, of a very big organization, like, much bigger than people would even realize, or, like, a corporation or something like that. But this person, like, works for the light. Um, so this person, like, you're either, like, waiting on them or, like, you're waiting to step into this role, um, so you have the Ace of Pentacles here. You have this beautiful, like, solid and stable foundation. Some sort of offer may come to you. Um, there it could be a business offer. It could come from this emperor. So this, um, and it will grow. It will grow into something very, very beautiful for you. Um, very beautiful, very profitable. So like I said, it, it's also just like a solid and stable foundation in resources and um, finances as well, okay? So it could go towards... I do see a house here, but I'll get into that. Um, but there is a breakup, but it's weird because this breakup doesn't really like hinder you in any way. So I'm not sure if like you may need to like separate from people because of the direction you're moving. And when this offer comes in, you kind of like realize that. Um, or if this is like a past heartache that like needs to be healed. Um, you do have like the magician here. So maybe this person was really like in and out. Maybe they were like kind of created illusions. Um, but like maybe they also had abilities and didn't necessarily use them for good. Um, but you also have like the magic within you. Like Isis is coming through and like they're talking about like Egypt and like um, spirituality and magic, magic and rituals and like that you have that within you. And that you have the power to create whatever it is that you want, especially if it's like wealth or material, because um, they do see like this house and this like business offer. But you can also use magic like in love. Um, you do also have um, like an owl coming through and you have like Venus and love. So I don't know if that's like specific for somebody, but maybe look up the meaning of an owl um, and maybe do some more research on like Venus. Um, there's like, they're singing that song like, you're my Venus. Na, 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 na. I don't know, it was like on a Razor commercial. I don't know. Maybe that's a very specific message for someone. <gasps> Moving on. So um, I see that there's, this has been like a burden, okay? Maybe even for some of you, your house has become a burden or your living situation has become a burden. Um, I'm feeling kind of like a lack of harmony. Usually there's like harmony, peace, like contentment, but I'm feeling a lack of that and like this burden. Um, so that is kind of like going down in your third week. So for some reason, like this like very powerful like opportunity presents itself to you, but it kind of like brings about these like emotions, I guess. Um, so coming into the, and like for some of you, if you are going to purchase like a house or like you're moving or anything like that, I see the finances coming in and I see it being a very solid and stable foundation. I see that it this like, this, like, if it's a smaller, like, piece or property or, like, house or whatever it may be, it grows into something, like, really, really 
big. Like you can make a lot out of this, whether it's like in investments, like, like, um, like either it like makes a good return or like you can build on it and like make a bigger house or like the land itself like actually grows and becomes like very like fruitful or like abundant or like cornucopia. Um, so anyways, uh, Going into your last week, um, your ships are actually coming in. So um, I, you're feeling a lot more like motivated and passionate. Um, and you have a new beginning in love and emotional fulfillment coming through as well. I'm also hearing that your cup of love is much bigger. So just so you guys know, you did have like the ace of... Oops. You guys did have the Ace of uh, Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So a new emotional fulfillment in love. And you have this new solid and stable foundation in your like finances or like in your resources or like whatever you're building. Okay. And these were actually on top of each other as well. And you're getting this in like the third week and then you're getting this in the fourth week. So that's really, really good. Um, there is strength coming through. So um, either it's required a lot of strength or it's going to require a little bit more strength. Um, this strength, like it comes, it's, it's something you've been working towards, okay? You've been working really hard. I'm hearing about like knowledge, like trying to stay motivated and passionate. Like you, you've been doing your healing work. Like I really see you guys like trying to heal yourselves in the second week there of May, like really getting in touch with your in intuition, your feelings, your, your empathic abilities. And, um, yeah, I see that there could also be like some sort of like, um, once again, like incoming communication regarding work, uh, towards the, the end of the month. Um, so for a lot of you, I am feeling some sort of job offer. Okay. It may require you to leave. Uh, you, this may be like, um, because we have your, like your house and then right underneath that we have someone walking away. So, um, it, it, it may be that, uh, this job kind of requires you to, to walk away, um, or to leave something in the past, leave things behind. I'm hearing that these things didn't, didn't serve you anyways. So if things are falling out of your life right now, just know that that's kind of meant to be okay. That's, that's the universe doing its, its thing. That's Pluto bringing in the change change like this is all this is all good um and there may be like some sort of contract that you have to sign you may be like accepted into like a very um like sometimes this is about like religion or organization or like something like that. Something that's like um, there is like some sort of like authority. For some of you, you may be like leaving someone of authority behind. You could possibly be leaving a Taurus behind or like just someone um, that is like, I don't know. They're just showing me like they're showing me very specifically like like catholic religion and like a priest and like somebody like walking out the door being like yeah like these visions and values it doesn't really like make sense anymore like this is a different time and then it's like you walk out to this like you like open the door and it's like bright angelic lights and it's like a whole new world for you so um, they are just saying like that is just coming through for somebody, um, but very specific, specifically for someone like there may be like a contract coming through as well. Um, so just a side note, they were saying that you guys were closing out a really painful cycle, that you guys were really patiently waiting on a new beginning. Um, and especially like during this time of quarantine, like you may have been thinking about it even more, or might have even been like, oh my God, like when is this coming? But uh, it is, the new beginning is coming and it, it does come after you kind of like walk away from things that no longer um, serve you. Um, so some hidden messages uh, or blessings for you is change. The change that you are going through is positive. Okay, and they're saying very soon, what you are asking for will happen very soon in a very happy way. Trust the divine. 
So also too, like sometimes things like just need to align a little bit more. Like you have to like think about it. Like we're actually all kind of going through this together. Like as much as we're in little collectives, we are still all one. Okay. It's actually all about connection. Like that's like what this like new age is about. Like the age of Aquarius, the star age, the golden age, um, the light age, whatever you want to call it. It's all about like actually reconnecting and realizing that we're all one. We're all the same. And like then that way we can like help each other and we can build and there's not this like hierarchy and stuff like there's not this like power and control over people it was never meant to be like that everyone's supposed to be a unique being of, of themselves and we were supposed to help each other grow and learn and what have you um okay so they're saying for some of you like separation or time apart is on the horizon for you for you and a partner um so i got a few messages for this for some of you i heard like um you there may be some sort of move um so you know something may not have been working out um a lot of people like are actually moving during quarantine like i'm just got a lot of clients that like people just like are like yeah like I just can't do it anymore like I gotta get out so when there's nothing else to run to and like you're kind of forced together you know uh the universe kind of makes you make a choice um so I just did here for some people it's like actually could involve like some sort of breakup and for some of you like you did have the breakup card there um but uh for some of you i heard it's like separation from your loved ones because of like work like maybe like you need to travel for work um i'm also hearing like for some people like there's just like a if you're at a distance like maybe like you and your loved one are not quarantined together um and was there anything else you guys had for that yeah, for some of you, there just may be something that comes up that like that temporarily separates you and um, a partner or a loved one. Uh, so forgiving and learning. So they're talking about uh, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So they were really just saying to like look for like the lessons and everything. OK, so if something didn't work out like maybe like why did it not work out usually it's because there's something better meant for you usually because it was just something that was meant to come in so you can learn so that you know in the future like i can't tell you how many times i've looked back in my life and been like oh thank god that didn't work out or like at the time i was like how did i not get into that school and then i think about like how much it would have changed if i had so they're just saying to uh forgive so by like Kind of figuring out what the lesson was um and looking at it from the perspective that like we all like we all like signed deals before we came here okay for like self for like um soul evolution and stuff like that so in someone else's story like i'm the villain in someone's story like they're in my story they're the villain like so when you kind of look at it like from that perspective and a lot of like abusers or like people that are like mean it's because like they're unhappy with themselves or like there's something traumatic that happened to them um so it's not that we are condoning their behavior but we can have like empathy and compassion um and send that person like healing and then like disconnect from them and no longer let them like influence um our energy and by doing this like you're forgiving and you're learning and like you evolve uh so forgiveness is coming through huge for you guys it's also like part of like a past life that you guys are working through um this month so um it is a timeline that's coming up to be healed and uh finances is coming through as well so i'm hearing that uh, make sure you guys don't get trapped in like lack of finances or like overstressed about finances because it's a very material thing and it's it only exists in this 3d dimension okay when you move to higher dimensions higher frequency other realms they don't they don't deal with this type of currency it's only here so this is coming up to be healed it does have to do with another timeline a past life um but i see a lot of abundance coming for you guys this month so um like not to worry but there was a, a life when you had a lack of and that's where that fear and anxiety comes from 
Um, so you are not alone, Kygo. Um, ancient ancestors stand beside you, keepers of the earth. Uh, so this is a beautiful card. Um, they're just saying that uh, you guys are keepers of the earth, okay? Um, you guys are all part of this divine mission and plan. Uh, you are not alone here, even though you feel like it. There's angels by your side. There's ascended masters. There's light beings. There's all this like beauty and resource to help you guys. And they're just they're right there, like just wanting to help you. Okay. Uh, well, thank you so much, guys. I hope this helps you in the month of May. I'm just going to close out with some words from your galactic family and from the angels. So, woo. Oh, weird. I just found a tarot card under here that is not like from the decks that I'm using. Uh, strength. <laughs> so strength is coming through really, really, really strong for you guys, okay? So just hang in there. Whatever is happening to you is to make you the person that you um, are becoming, okay? So, um, you know, I'm thankful for those people. Like, I have lots of love for my haters because without them, I would not be where I am. So just know that. Just know what goes into soul development as well. And this is also probably so that you can be a leader, um, which we saw, like, that power. You can be a healer. Like, there's all these different reasons as to why your soul picked this storyline. Um, and, uh, they were saying from the angels, focus on your dreams, allow the power of manifestation to start now. And from your galactic fa family, they're saying you are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. Please let us channel with you. Okay, guys, I'm sending you so much love and light. Bye.